Hello and welcome. In this lecture, we are going to have this exact type of button. But before then, please note this lecture is absolutely optional. You can go ahead and leave your button this way, which I think is still very, very nice. However, if you want to learn how to create this type of button, then you can go ahead and consume this lecture. Now to do this, we have to go back to our editor and instead of having this center widget, get rid of it. And we want to have a widget known as stack. We basically use the stack widget to place widget on top widget. And as well, just like the column, the stack has a property known as children. And first, we can have a widget known as positioned. The reason for the position widget is for us to tell how we intend to position the child. Now, within the positioned widget, there is a property known as left, and we can set this to 278. And also, within the positioned widget, there is a property known as stop and we can say 19 and for the child this will be a widget known as opacity because we want to give the next widget we will have an opacity and uh, we will give this 0 0.5 okay and uh, within the opacity widget, there is a property known as child. And the child is going to take a container. Container first, I'm going to use Contrain S to save in order to format my code. Okay, you're not gonna see anything now. And first, within the container, we can give this a weight, which will determine the uh, horizontal size of the container and we can say 60 and for the height we can also say 60 remember the height will determine the the vertical size of the container and also we can say clip behavior uh, the clip behavior will basically tell how we intend to clip some part of the container and we can say clip dot okay I can't pronounce this and uh, in order to have some more access to some additional properties the container has there is a property known as decoration and we can then have a box decoration class and first we want to give this container uh, we want to make it a bit secular and we can say border or what we can just do we can give this a border you will see this shortly and we can say border dot hall at all sides first we want to give a width and we want to make it thicker so we can say at all the side we want to have a thick border of 12 and also we want to give this a color and we are going to use a color code and this is going to be 0 s f f 1 0 Siri D capital D and E five. Okay, add your comma and uh, use control and S to save and let's see. Let's see. Okay, you can see we got it over there, but it, it is not looking uh nice. It is not looking that nice. So what we can do is within the box decoration first I will add a comma over here. Use control S to save. And within the box decoration, there is a property known as border radius. And we can give this a border radius then dot circular and of 30. Okay, add your comma and use Ctrl S to save now and see what we will get. Okay, I think this is okay. You can see we are using this clip behavior to clip 
a specific part okay you can see it seems good and then we want to have another we want to have another positioned okay add your comma to always know where each widget starts and where it ends okay we want to have another position widget remember the position widget will basically tell how we intend to position the child and uh, for the left we can say we want to position this child to the left of 260 and also to the top of 29 okay and also we want to give this an opacity opar c hopefully i can spell opacity and uh, this will also be 0 0.5 and for the child it is going to be container okay container and we don't want the container to be that big so the width is just going to be 10 and the height is just going to be 10 okay use control as a save definitely you're not going to see anything yet and we also want to give this a clip behavior sorry clip behavior and this is going to be clip then dart okay and uh, in order to have some more access to some more additional properties within the container we can then have the decoration and we can have the box decoration class and first we want to give a border this time around we want to give it at all side also but we don't want it to be that thick so we can give a width of just three okay and uh, within the box decoration there is and there's this there's this property known as a color and we can give this color and we can use a color code and this is going to be zero zero sorry zero s f f two one then four then one and e capital e and five okay hopefully okay use contrain as a save and let's see what we will get okay we got it over there but we want it to be a bit round or a bit circular okay there is a property known as border radius and this is going to be border radius then dot circular of course we can make it not really that obvious and we can say five okay great okay we got it over there and uh, again we want to have another positioned widget positioned and uh, we can go ahead and give this uh, first we can give this left of theory one one and uh, what we can do okay we, we can just go ahead and have the child so you can see the main reason of the left or the main reason of the position widget and we can go ahead and have the child first and it's going to be opacity but this time we want to say zero then dot theory okay and then we want to have a child and it's going to be container container okay i will use contrain as to say first and uh, we don't want this container to be that big so we can give width of five and also height of five okay and also we can clip this we can say clip behavior and this is going to be clip then again this and also we want to have the decoration and box box decoration and uh, also we can give this a color and this is going to be colors dot white so we are saying in all the colors we have in flutter we only want to access the white and uh, first use control and s to save and let's see okay waiting for this 
okay you really can't see anything i think it is over here so the reason for this position is to tell how we intend to position this widget that is the opacity and remember the opacity has a con as a as a property known as child and the child is a container right so now what we can do is within the position we can specify the left and we can say we want it to be 311 and use constraint as a save now and let's see okay i think you can see the via now and uh we can also say top in order to make it more visible we can say top of 36. okay use constraint as a save and let's see Okay, you can see it over here now great and uh maybe that is not really necessary <laughs> but this is design and we can go ahead and give this a border radius and this is going to be border border radius then the circular of what we can give this theory add your comma and use constraint as a save okay and uh, check it out okay we got it over there and lastly we want to have another positioned okay and positioned okay and uh okay now you understand the major reason for the position we can go ahead and give the left to be two eight one and the torp to be minus 10 negative 10 and then we can have the child and it's going to be opacity again opar ct this is going to be zero dot theory and child is going to be a container container widget add your comma sorry use constraint as to save and uh we want this to be a bit big so we can give this width of 20 and height is also going to be 20 then the clip behavior clip 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 behavior this is going to be clip and dot this again and decoration and box decoration okay color is also going to be white and we want to give a border radius okay border radius dot circular of 10 and also we need a comma over here okay use control as a save and let's see okay great we got that over there some skill so you can go ahead and always implement this fun this type of design in any of your buttons and hopefully it is cool and then we want to have a test which is going to say sign in to do this right after this positioned we can then have a test widget and it is going to say sign in okay use control s to save and we should see it somewhere yeah okay and we can go ahead and wrap this with a center sorry we can go ahead and wrap this with a center widget and we can go ahead and style this and we want to give this a google font so this is going to be google font then dot get font and the font family is going to be latu Okay, use control as to save and let's see. Waiting for this, okay. And we can go ahead and change the color to be colors that white. Also, we can go ahead and increase the font size to be 17 or 18. And also we can make this bold. And this is going to be font width font width dot bold. Now use control and as to save and let's see okay okay great now we have this nice looking button and i think it is the same as what we have over here 
probably the color is a bit darker than this but do not worry in the next lecture or maybe in the future we will use a more darker color to match with what we have okay probably we have in some extra design over here which ought not to be there okay we can go ahead and remove that and uh, where is it this should be it okay sorry not that um i'm going to screw up and uh, this is it over here we can get rid of that and use control s to save okay it is gone and i think it looks just like this and in case you didn't see what i removed okay this is it with left of 260 and top of 29 and i got rid of it because we don't have it in this design i don't know where i imagine it from okay so everything is working as we expect then in the next lecture we will continue from here